Another one was a randomized uh, phase three study um, for patients with progressive mid-gut neuroendocrine tumors, uh, comparing uh, lutetium-177 dotatate, given once every eight weeks for four cycles, uh, along with standard dose octreotide, compared to high dose octreotide, 60 milligrams every four weeks. The primary endpoint was progression-free survival uh, that was presented about four years ago. Uh, the results showed a pretty substantial improvement in PFS uh, with lutetium dotatate compared to high-dose octreotide. It was highly uh, statistically significant and clinically significant. The hazard ratio was about uh, 0.18. Now we're presenting the final overall survival data uh, from the study, uh, which uh, were scheduled to occur either after a certain number of deaths, 158 deaths, or five years after the last patient was randomized, whichever occurred first. And uh, in this instance, it was five years after the last patient was randomized. So the median follow-up was over six years. What the final results showed that uh, the median overall survival with lutetium dotatate was 48 months, so four years. Uh, with high-dose octreotide, it was uh, uh, roughly three years. So there was about a year uh, difference in overall survival between the two arms. Now, this was not statistically significant. This was not a very large study. Uh, there was also a significant amount of crossover from uh, high-dose octreotide to patients subsequently getting lutetium dotatate. Um, in fact, uh, at least 36% of patients uh, eventually crossed over, which almost certainly impacted the statistical significance. So those are the results. Uh, difference in median overall survival of approximately one year, hazard ratio of 0.84, p-value was 0.3.